all natural numbers that give remainders 1 and 2 when divided by 6 and 5 respectively are written in ascending order side by side from left to right like this. What is the 99th digit from the left of the number thus found? Hi, welcome to Quant 200 series. Do you like some good quantitative aptitude questions? If your answer is yes, then this series is definitely for you. We are discussing lots of lots of good questions here, which will check your concepts, the basic concepts in detail. Now, this is another one of those questions which is based on remainders from number system topic. So try this question on your own because uh, this is going to blow your mind. Now, if we uh, start solving this question, can I say we are looking for a number which gives a remainder 2 when divided by 5 and gives a remainder of 1 when divided by 6. How do you find the smallest such number? You can do some hit and trial, like I could put y is equal to uh, 1, then I get 7 and uh, 7 can be written as 5x plus 2, that is also 7. But what if this values uh, were bigger, right? So how do we solve? How do we find the smallest such number? Can we write 5x is equal to 6y minus 1, which we can write 5x is equal to, next it will be 5y plus y minus 1. Now, left hand side is a multiple of 5, right hand side must also be a multiple of 5. 5y is a multiple of 5 already, y minus 1 either should be 0 or multiple of 5, then only this will become a multiple of 5. So, y minimum that we can take is 1. If I put y 1, then we are getting 7 as we found as hit and try. What will be the next value? How do we know? See, this number should be a multiple of 5. y minus 1 should be a multiple of 5. Smallest value of y that we can take is 1. What is the next value that you can take? It will be 6, right? Then the next value will be 11. Then the next value will be 16 and so in a gap of 5, right? Now, if you take y is equal to 1, you are getting 7. If you take y is equal to 6, you are getting 37, 36. Then again, if you are taking y is equal to 11, you are getting 66 plus 1, 67. What are these values? If you check the value, the smallest value is 7. Next value is uh, 36 plus 1, which is 37. Then the next value is uh, 66 plus 1, which is 67. Can you see the number is increasing by 30? And what is this 30? This 30 is nothing but the LCM of 5 and 6. Okay, so you can follow this method in other questions as well. That once you get the smallest number, next number you can add the LCM of these two divisors, and that you will get the number. So our number n is of the form LCM of 5 and 6 30k plus the smallest number, which is 7. This is our number, right? So if we start writing these numbers, the smallest number will be 7. Then next number will be 37 then next number will be 67 then 97 then 127 and so on now we need to find 99th digit from left isn't it amazing right what we can find using basic concepts so how many two digit numbers will be there can i say single digit number is one two digit numbers are one 2, 3. So, 1 plus 2 into 3. We all, we already got 7 digits. Now, there will be 3 digit numbers. So, total 3 digit numbers, how many 3 digit numbers are there? 900, right? And the gap is 30. So, how many 3 digit numbers will be there? 300 or 30 into 3. Each 3 digit number will have 3 digits. How many such three digit numbers will be there? The smallest is 127. What will be the largest? So we can add 127 plus 30 k minus 1. This should be less than 999, right? Or less than equal to, but 999 is not that number. So from there, we can say 30 times 
k minus 1 should be less than equal to 800 and 72. In that case, k minus 1 will be less than equal to this will be 2 times then 272 9 times means k is less than equal to 30. So, this is what I was uh, talking about. There are 903 digit numbers and uh, the gap is 30. Between two consecutive numbers, the gap is 30. 900 by 30, we are getting 33 digit numbers. If we are getting 33 digit numbers, then what we can say that 30 into 33 digit numbers, each will be have three digit. So, 30 into 3. How many digits do we have till now? So, 90 plus 6 plus 1. It will be till now we have 97 digits. We are looking for 99th digit. Means the smallest four digit number of this form will give us the 99th digit, right? So, what we can say that uh, 30k, if you divide 999 by 30, what are we getting? 3 times 90, then again 99, 3 times 90, then we are getting 9. The remainder is 9 when we are dividing 999 by 30. So, the largest 3 digit number will be, the largest 3 digit number will be here 997, uh, right? 997, it will be. One second. 997. Nine, now, the smallest four digit number will be if you add 30 to this, means 10 and 27. This will be the smallest four digit number. And now we are going to take second digit from here. So, the second digit from here is nothing but 0. So, what is our answer here? answer is 0. <clears throat> A really good question based on numbers and uh, remainders. Apart from that, you also need to find how many digits are there in a particular number, right? Thank you.